How to create multiple product pages in Shopify. Now, my name is Kraus and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully create multiple product pages in Shopify. Now, by default, your store is going to look probably something like this. Now, this is actually the test store for all of my tutorials out there. So, for example, in one of my previous videos, I showed how to add a custom font, how to add a video with autoplay and so on. But by default, your store is probably going to look something like this. Now to actually get started with creating multiple product pages in Shopify, you will have to go ahead and open up the Shopify dashboard. Now there are a lot of ways of actually doing this. A lot of other guys are going to tell you that you do need to create pages for all of the different product variations, products and so on out there. However, this isn't actually practical in my opinion, rather I'm going to show you a way easier and way faster way of actually doing this. So to get started you do want to head over to the products tab right here on the left and then you do want to navigate to collections. Now this will basically allow us to group our products into categories and we can then display these products on our store. So to get started, I'm just going to create a collection called clothing. Now, as for the description, I would recommend you to just keep this short. Alternatively, you can just use ChatGPT for this. Now, as for the collection type, make sure to leave this at manual. Uh, and then as for the image right here on the right, make sure to actually add an image to this. Um, now, make sure to add an image that is going to represent all of the different products inside your collection. So if you, for example, do have a clothing collection like me, uh, I would recommend you to for example add a picture of someone wearing the clothing so that the person that is going to actually visit your store directly knows what's going on and what they're going to get when they're going to click on their collection okay but for now i'm just going to save this and now i'm going to basically just repeat this process i guess i'm going to add another collection called tops so this would be a sub collection inside the clothing collection but more on it later on then i'm also going to create a collection called furniture okay so i'm just going to save this once again however as you can see by default now we don't have any products added onto these collections and to change this we basically do want to head over to the products tab on the left where we are going to see all of our products, okay? Right here, you will then have to select all of the different products that you do want to add to the collection. So in this case, I'm going to select the hoodie, joggers, as well as oversized zipper and short sleeve t-shirt and add it to my clothing collection, which I'm going to do by clicking on the three dots right here. And then I'm going to click on add to collection. I'm going to add this to clothing. Then I'm going to repeat this with all of my tops. Once again, add to collection, in this case tops. Then as for furniture, I actually only do have this couch. So I'm just going to select this right here and I'm then going to add this to my collection, okay? However, so basically we have now aligned everything correctly. However, if we're now going to preview our store, as you can see, this isn't available and this isn't visible anywhere on our store. And to change this, we actually do need to head over to online store right here. And then we do need to head over to the navigation settings on the left. So this will basically give us the option to both edit the footer menu as well as the main menu. Now the main menu would be this, uh, basically this header right here on top. The footer would be the footer on the bottom. Um, now we are actually going to change the main menu on top because obviously we do want to display our different kind of uh, basically product pages right here on the header. So to do so, we are just going to click on main menu and then I'm going to add a new menu item onto this. Now, basically there are a lot of ways of doing this. For example, you can just add an all products menu item right here. However, actually, as I already have a catalog menu item, I'm just going to simply edit this and then I'm going to rename this to our products. And then as you can see, as for the actual link for this menu item, this already is correctly aligned to the all products tab right here. So I'm just going to apply the changes, changes right now. Perfect. So now we can actually add a new menu item. This menu item would then be, I don't know, clothing. Then as for the link, we are just going to select collections and then clothing. Now we will actually have to repeat this process with the tops collection as well as with the furniture collection. 
Okay, and now that we have this added, this is actually, I guess, correctly added. However, if we're going to leave this at this, this is going to show up right here next to the other items, essentially. However, we actually do want to kind of subdivide this. So basically, we do want to show clothing, tops and furniture under the our product section. So to do so, we are just going to drag this under our products and then to the right, okay? going to repeat this process and um, now now we are I guess done however we are actually going to once again subdivide the clothing section right here with tops because tops actually is under clothing so we are now actually going to save this and when we are now going to opt out of this we're going to click on view our online store and as you can see now we do have the all product tab right here and we are going to see the clothing tab where we do then see the tops tab as well as furniture. However, if we're going to click on this, as you can see, everything is correctly set up. We can also click on furniture. There we are going to get our couch. Now, in my honest opinion, I think this doesn't look great. And if you're just going to leave this at the default, I think getting conversions uh, is basically going to be quite hard. Rather, I would actually recommend you to add an additional app onto your store. Now, no worries, this is going to be completely free. Just make sure to click on settings on the bottom left, then click on apps and sales channel and open up the Shopify app store essentially, and then look for gem pages. I will also leave you the link for this down below. Now, when you're going to use the link down below, you are going to get access to a forever free plan which is going to allow you to get started with gem pages so just make sure to install the app right here and then open the app now basically i really like gem pages because when i've actually integrated it on my stores i've seen a significant boost in terms of revenue conversion rate and so on so in my opinion it's just a no-brainer for anyone doing e-commerce basically okay so as you can see right here we can then get started with creating a new page for for a store now as you can see on top we are going to have tons of different uh, templates which we can actually all use for completely free this is going to include stuff like product pages collection pages or like you know, even stuff like blog list coming soon about page and so on now in this case let's for example create a collection page uh, we can then actually preview all of these collections so for example this one right here in my opinion this does look great and way better than the general free themes on shopify this collection page also does look great as you can see you are going to have all of the different products displayed and so on uh, and the same goes for this one. Now keep in mind, you can use these templates for completely free. Let's quickly look at the product page right here. Uh, in my opinion, the product pages even do look better. Like for example, this fashion page, this works great for any kind of fashion and clothing related product as it kind of, as you can see, you are getting urgency with this five left in stock thing right here. You're also generating social proof. You're also going to have different kind of uh, switches. You can change the size and so on. And this also seamlessly integrates with uh, basically review apps like judge.me and so on. Now let's quickly look at another example. So as you can see, this also does look pretty good in my opinion. But let's just now get started with this fashion page. So I will just simply select this um, and I will show you how to actually move forward editing this on gem pages as it can be a little bit complicated when getting started. So I will just quickly click on this page right here. And now this is going to open up. So as you can see, the editor is actually, in my opinion, it's quite easy to understand but either way you do have your different kind of elements right here in the preview and you can then click on each of these elements and basically edit them right here on the left on the left you can also add new elements as well as new sections onto your uh, product page as you can see you are going to have tons of different sections and templates and so on for example this bundle section right here you can actually also add social proof with these sections and so on now basically gem pages also has a lot of other great features but i don't want to waste your time in this video uh, let's just quickly go over the basics right now so if you do for example do want to uh, delete certain elements of your website you would just have to select that and click on delete then you could move forward with this by changing this up right here so we could just rename this to free returns 
and so on. And this is basically how it works. Now, I actually made a video on my channel going way more in depth on how gem pages actually works. So make sure to watch that if you do want to learn more about gem pages. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.